Hello everyone and welcome back to Twig or This Week in Gaming. I am your host Josh B from Merclan Gaming and today we are covering all of the gaming news that happened this week, the week of June 19th. This week was a bit of a lighter one with only a handful of news, those being a small update from Xbox about pricing, a new hit game on Steam, and the Nintendo Direct. Let's get into it. This week, Microsoft came out and let us know that the price for Xbox Game Pass Ultimate will be increasing from $14.99 to $16.99 USD. Along with this, their console Game Pass will also see a $1 increase, while the PC Game Pass will remain unchanged. These price changes will start for all new subscribers on July 6th, and for any current Game Pass holders, these price changes will be implemented August 13th. Hopefully, along with these prices, Xbox will maybe roll out their Xbox Game Pass friends and family plan to other countries. The Xbox Series X also jumped in price this week in the following countries, Canada, Australia, UK, and several EU markets, with those prices now being $550 in the EU, $480 in the UK, $650 in Canada, and $800 in Australia. A new game has plagued the streaming world. Only Up is a third-person platformer with a very simple concept, but with a challenging execution. Climb to the top. The game was released a few months back on Steam, but recently this week blew up when most of the biggest streamers started playing this super difficult game. People love the amount of rage and sorrow streamers experience as they miss a jump and fall to the bottom, losing tons of progress. The game doesn't have any sort of save game option too, so if you leave the game, you back out to the main menu, or, you know, god forbid your game crashes, well, so does all your progress. So unless you want to leave your computer on for hours until you finally beat the game, we suggest you just get good. Next up, we'll be covering the Nintendo Direct that occurred on the 21st. There were quite a few big games that fans have really been asking for for a while now that were shown at the event. To start, we have the return of Tim and Pikachu coming out October 6th. They are back again in this sequel game titled Detective Pikachu Returns. In the game, you'll be tasked with solving all new mysteries in Rhyme City with your partner, a talking Pikachu. We don't yet know what this new case will be about or who it might involve, but we can't wait to see what new twists and turns awaits these two in just a few months. Speaking of sequels, we got a new update on Pikmin 4. In this game, you play as a new member of Rescue Corps with the objective of saving people that have landed on PNF 404 from all the strange wildlife. You won't be saving them alone, however, as you have the help of your faithful rescue pup, Ochi, and the mysterious Pikmin. The more you save people, the more resources and purchasable upgrades you will receive for yourself and your pup. Also new to this game is the ability to venture out during the night where you will meet the enraged monsters and the new glow Pikmin. You can embark on your rescue missions on July 21st, but if you're super curious as to how the game will look and play, there will be a demo available to play on June 28th. If you're a fan of monster raising games, they showed a new game just for that. Dragon Quest Monsters The Dark Prince. This new game in the Dragon Quest series will have you raising and combining classic monsters to fight for you in battle. You'll be playing as the Dark Prince who has lost his ability to harm any monsters and must find new ways to defeat them to reclaim his throne. The game is set to come out on December 1st. We were finally shown Penny's Big Breakaway from the Sonic Mania developers. It'll be a new third-person platformer that looks like a mix of Billy Hatcher and A Hat in Time. The main difference is that you have a magic yo-yo that lets you grapple, spin, or even just ride on it as it rolls around on the ground or even up walls. You'll be able to help Penny take center stage sometime early next year. Ending off our Nintendo Direct coverage, we were shown a number of Mario titles. First off, we have the smaller news of Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon getting a Switch release next year. This game was originally on the 3DS, but with 3DS online servers down, 
fans are very happy to see it being ported to the Switch. Next, we got a small look at a new game starring Princess Peach. This untitled side-scroller has an aesthetic of a theater play with its red curtains to almost cardboard cutout backgrounds. There wasn't any form of release date or anything shown for that matter for when it might come out, so we'll definitely keep you posted on any news that comes out from this game. They then finally showed us a new mainline 2D Mario game without the word new in its title. The main mechanic of the new Super Mario Bros. Wonder seems to be their new Wonder Flowers that basically make it look like Mario is straight tripping on acid. Seriously. The world changes drastically around you after touching one of these flowers, from the pipes gaining eyes and moving up and down, to Mario stretching up and down and even turning into a spike ball. They also showed that this game will have four player co-op with five total playable characters. Those being Mario, Luigi, Peach, Toad, and Daisy. At the end of the trailer, they showed us a new power up that turns Mario into an elephant man. We're very interested to see what else these wacky wonder flowers will do to Mario and friends when it releases October 20th. And lastly, we have a remake of an SNES game from 1996, Super Mario RPG. Fans are quite happy to see this old but amazing game finally getting some love from Nintendo. The remake is almost identical to the original, but with freshly updated graphics. It's super exciting that a whole new generation will get to experience Mario, Peach, Bowser, Mallow, and Geno's adventure to repair the Star Road. And we surely can't wait to see how some of those iconic scenes will look when it releases November 17th. And that will be it for this week in gaming. Again, sorry for it being such a short week. There just wasn't much going on. Please make sure to check out all of our other videos though. Subscribe for more content coming in the future of all things gaming. This has been Josh B from Merclan Gaming, and I will see you next week for another episode of This Week in Gaming.